Guys, make sure to stay until the end. We want to share one good advice with you. If you make that simple mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on parts and repairs, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Make sure to stay until the end. We'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Warbler Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Chrysler 300 that generation here from year 2014 to year 2024. If you need to find where the power locks, also known as door locks or central locking fuses, where they're located, where you can find them, we will also put a link in the description of the video below where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste money and time. So let's start on it now. So guys, before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, that way we can keep making these free videos. We show you how to fix engines, transmission, bodywork, fuses, relays, all that stuff, guys. And if you need to buy cheap parts and tools at a good price, quick shipping, we'll put a link in the description of the video below. Guys, check out our YouTube channels. We have more than 50 15,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So where you can guys expect to find the fuse for the central locking, also known as door locks, power locks. We will demonstrate on this generation Chrysler 300. You have many fuse boxes in that car, but today we'll be working a fuse box that's in the trunk. Open the trunk, you lift your carpet liner up and underneath the carpet liner in the trunk you have the spare tire and the car battery. Behind the car battery you have a fuse box, that's what it looks like. Press the tabs here, pull the cover out, and you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse puller and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, relays, at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. So guys, here what we need to check, one fuse only. Now we're going to come in that row of fuses and uh, by the way, if a door does not lock or unlock, we'll have video on our YouTube channel that will explain why door does not lock and unlock. Come in here, you have fuse number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Fuse number 9, that's the central locking power locks fuse that you will need to check on your Chrysler 300. So guys, that generation Chrysler 300 has all kinds of different size of fuses guys. You can see different fuses, relays, uh, that's the engine fuse box, that's the trunk fuse box. Those could be really hard to find some of them guys. And if you're in the middle of nowhere, you need a replacement, you cannot get one, you may be stuck guys. So we will recommend to buy some, put in the glove box uh, for peace of mind, keep some spare ones. Uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Hopefully the video was helpful guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time.